put to the equation y equals mx plus b and then identify the slope of the right intercept. But not all linear equations come in this form. For example, the equation 2x plus 3y equals 6 is also a linear equation in two variables. We've got our x and the y. If we first try to make a table here and we try to do what we did before by choosing the um, x values and finding y, it gets a little bit complicated because we haven't, the equation is, hasn't been solved for y. But there's some easy numbers that we can use. For example, if I let x equals 0, we're then looking at the equation 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 6. And 2 times 0 is just 0, so we've got the equation 3y equals 6. And so we can solve for y, y is equal to 2. Now this is the y-intercept again. It's the same point that we found before x is 0, our y is 2. That tells us where we cross the y-axis. We can do the same thing with y. If I choose y equal to 0, I'm looking at the equation 2x plus 3 times 0 is equal to 6, and 3 times 0 is 0. So the equation simplifies to 2x equal to 6, x equals 3. Now I only have two points here, but let's graph those. So I'm going to graph the point 0, 2, 0, 2, and the point 3, 0. The first point, again, is the y-intercept because that's where the line crosses the y-axis. The second point is where the line crosses the x-axis, and we call that the x-intercept. And we can draw the line just using those two points and trying to follow the pattern. and I've got the line. Now, if we want to check that our line is really accurate, we might use the idea that we talked about before, uh, that our slope should be constant. So if I look at the graph, and I'm going from this point to this point, I'm going down to, that's in the negative y direction, so we'll put a negative two, and then I'm going to the right three, one, two, three, so the slope is actually negative two over three. If I go back to my chart, my table of values, and I look at what's happening here, as I go from 2 to 0, I'm going down 2. And as I go from 0 to 3, I'm going up 3. So my change in y over my change in x is the slope, negative 2 thirds. If I wanted to find other points for the line, I could continue with that pattern. Here, change of y of negative 2, if I'm going down 2 from 0, that means my new y value is negative 2. And if my change in x is 3, I'm going up 3 from the 3, that gives me the point 6, negative 2. And let's just check my graph. Here I am at 6, negative 2. And that's another point on the graph. Now we could actually use the information that we have on the graph to write this equation in slope-intercept form. If I just look at what we know from our, uh, the graph, the slope was equal to negative 2 thirds, and the intercept was 2. So we would have the equivalent equation, y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 2. And now we've got equivalent equation, different form. Some of you may be used to, when you see an equation, that has the x and y on the one side, solving for y, so that you put it in slope-intercept form. And we'll look at that in just a minute, but notice how when the x and y are on, on the same side of the equal sign, it's fairly easy to find the, um, the y and the x-intercepts, and then it's fairly easy to draw the graph from just those two points. But let's look at this equation, and we just practice solving it for a variable y. It's just a linear equation. We're going to solve for y. And if you remember, when we're solving for the variable y, we want all the other terms on the other side of the equal sign, terms with y on the one side. That means I need to get rid of the 2x, and we get rid of the 2x by subtracting it. I'm subtracting it from both sides. It's gone on the left. That just leaves me with 3y. On the right, these are not like terms, so I'm just going to write it out as negative 2x plus 6. And then the last step in solving for y would just be to divide by 3. We have to remember to divide every term by 3. 
and the threes cancel here, gives me the equation y is equal to negative 2 thirds x, and here 6 over 3 is the same as 2. And so I get that equation again in slope intercept form of y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 2. There are a couple of other special kinds of equations of lines that sometimes seem a little bit confusing, and we're going to look at those two examples next. One is a special case when I have the form of y equals mx plus b, but the m, the value of m, the slope, is equal to zero. Now, if we think about what that means, first of all, when we talk about the slope being the slant of the line, if the slope is zero, we would expect, expect the line to be flat. If I look at the equation of a line that has m equal to, or m equal to zero, we're just looking at y is equal to 0 times x plus b. 0 times x is just 0. So the equation is simply in the form y equals b. So let's look at a particular equation and see what that means. If I have the equation y equals 4. If I'm looking at a table of values, it means that no matter what I choose for x, y is going to be 4. If I choose x to be negative 2, y is 4. If x is 0, y is 4. If x is 2, y is 4. The y value never changes. When I graph those points, negative 2, 4, 0, 4, 2, 4, you see that we just get a line that's horizontal. It's just flat. It has no slope, no up or down even though we're going across. The second kind of special line, we can't even write in the form y equals mx plus b. It's of the form simply x equals a number. For example, x equals 3. Here, we're not going to be able to talk about the slope because we can't put it into this form. Just like our line y equals 4, when we have the line x equals 3, it means that no matter what y values we have, x is equal to 3. I choose y equal to negative 2, x is equal to 3. y equal to 0, x is equal to 3. y equal to 2, x is equal to 3. When I graph these points, 3, negative 2, 3, 0, 3, positive 2, we see that these lines are lining up in a vertical line, straight up and down, and that's our line, x equals 3. In this case, if we look at the slope, it's just straight up and down. Again, you know, it doesn't have any slant, but in this case, we say that the slope is not defined. Any equation that has the form x equals a number is going to be a vertical line. Any equation that has the, line, the equation y equals a constant is going to be a horizontal line. Well, that concludes our review of uh, equations of lines and how to graph them. And I want to wish you luck in your algebra class.